Okay, all right, so uh, technically this is more like a part two of the unit six lesson one, uh, but you know, I made it into a lesson two, same difference. So in this video, we will take what we learned from the last lesson and use that to solve word problems. Okay, so this, is, this video is critical. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so, uh, all right, I already said this yesterday yesterday I mean well, you know in the other lesson all right again I left this up here just so that there's a reference all right should you need to all right of a type a type B or type C question so having said that let's jump let's jump into it all right let's use a blue marker all right so let's take a look all right number one the movie theater has 250 seats 225 seats were sold for the current showing what percent of the seat now think about this right if you should you choose to, you can reword this into a type A, type B, type C, meaning like in this in this language. That's up to you. Okay, should you choose to? You can. Now, looking at this question, right? Do you think this is a type A, type B, or type C question? All right, I'm asking you what percent? Which of these questions has a what percent as a, as a phrase? That's right. A B, right? This is a type B question. So having said that, let's set it up. So uh, the movie theater has 250 seats, 20, 225 seats were sold. So 225 out of 250 is, look at this, what per cent, right? So we're turning a fraction to a decimal. Okay, see that? So what we're gonna do now is we're going to turn this. So we're gonna do 225 times 100 times, divide, no, divide by 250. What is that? 90, now 90 what? For type B question, 90%. So 90% of the, ah, I didn't read the question carefully. That's my fault. All right. Well, not too late. If 90% of the seats were sold, then how many percent of the seats are empty? That's right, 10%, okay? So you can do that. Or if you want, you can leave the 25 seats up here. So turn that into 25 seats, right? Because if you have 250 seats and you sold 225, then you'll be left with 25. So that's up to you, okay? All right. So let this be a lesson that you have to read these questions very, very carefully. Okay. Last night, the Knicks make 12 free throws. If the free throw percent, this is 75%. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna write this first. Now, think about this. 12 out of how many free throws? So this is a type C question. Okay, so look at this, right? 12 out of what is 75%, right? So think about this. They made 12, they took uh, a certain amount of them, right, originally. So 12 out of some of these free throws were made, and that equates to 75%, right? So that's what that is. Now let's see, let's multiply. So 12 times 100, 1200 divided by 75, 16. So the next took 16 free throws, and they made 12 of them, which we equates to 75%. So that makes sense, okay? All right. Now, certainly I could also see how this could be tough. Uh, so don't hesitate to come in the morning and uh, get some extra help. Okay, all right, survey of 1,000 people. So this is out of 1,000 people. 
okay? 80%, right? Out of the thousand people. So how many knew the name now? 80% of them did not know. So 20% of them did know. Okay, so I gotta erase this. Again, you gotta read these questions like really, really carefully. So 20% knew the name of the congressman out of a thousand. So how many? So in other words, this is a type, what? 80%, this is a type, uh, let's see, A, B, or C. A, right? So 20% of the people knew their congressman, which is a thousand. So how many of them are there? Okay, all right. So let's see. 20 times a thousand divided by a hundred. So 200. All right, so 200 people. So 200 people out of the thousand, 200 people knew the congressman, which is 20%, which means 80% of the people didn't know. Okay, all right. Maybe I made these questions. Maybe I picked the hard. Maybe I picked these questions uh, that are a little bit more difficult than I should. Okay, a class out of 60, out of 60 people, right? 30% for them voted for Brad. 70% vote, so Jane won, right? Because they want to know how many did the winner get. So 70% of the people voted for Jane. That's out of 60 people. So how many out of the 60 is 70%? All right, class of 60, let me just double check. Oh, actually, we don't even need, yeah, what is 70% of 60? Yeah, that's a type A question again, right? 70%, 70 of the 60 people, 70%. So what is 70% of 60? Right, that's it. Okay, let's see. Let's do 70 times 60 over 100 is 42. So 42 of the 60 people voted for Jane. Okay, all right, having said that, uh, I'll let you practice for a little bit. So pause, try these questions, and then uh, we'll keep going. Okay, all right, so restaurant etiquette, it dictates that you should leave a 15% tip for the server if the service is acceptable. If that's the case, how much should you tip? Okay, so think about this, what type of question this is, right? What is 15% of the total of $24? Okay, so let's see, let's try that. 24 times 15 divided by 100, $3.60. Okay, all right, next. Uh, the produce department sold 280, so out of 288, no, they sold 288. That's not how many originally received, so I got to read the question carefully. So 288 out of what is 72%? Okay, let me repeat that. 288 out of what is 72%? Okay, so let's see. Uh, so that's a type, what type was this one? 15% was percent of a number. This is a type C question. All right, let's see. 288 times 100 divided by 72, it's 400. So 400 potatoes were originally received. Okay, one last one. All right. So a waiter received uh, 525. So 525 out of $25 is what percent? One more time, 525 out of 25 is what percent? So that's a type B question. Turning a fraction into a percent or decimal, okay? What is that? So let's see, 
525 times 100. That's 525, uh, divided by 25, yeah. 21, now 21 what? What percent, right? So 21%. Okay, that's it, not bad, all right? This was pretty fast. I think uh, the technology helps too. So thanks for watching and uh, have a good one. Gee, that was so good.